I think there's been something deeply demonic about a lot of policies that seek to control people. I mean, mandates telling you what you can, you can't have any bodily autonomy. I mean, these, this is deeply dark stuff going on. Um, so we, we did cover that. It, did that have some role in your conversion to Islam that you saw what was going on and wanted to find God at a deeper level? Yeah, I see it as the the only logical explanation for how the world exists. There must be a creator, and I think there's one creator, and then how we worship that creator should just be submission to one. And I don't think that we should worship any man. But at the same time, everything that's in the Quran has pretty much manifested in real life, and it, it fixes all these problems. When it comes to the music programming, like in the Quran, it says you're not supposed to listen to music. And if you listen to anything on the radio, it's promoting murder, it's promoting promiscuity, wh um, horror behavior. It's disgusting. Like, even I was listening to the song uh, by Bruno Mars. Today I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> like, it's just promoting being a lazy piece of... Right. I don't Useless. want it, nothing at all, nothing. And you're <laughs> right. like, yeah, nothing. I want to do nothing. <laughs> right. All of it, when you start to realize, like, all this music is programming. Mm -hmm. And the Quran fixes the, the gender problem, the masculinity problem. It fixes uh, the family problem. And when you, when you don't submit to Allah, you're going to end up submitting to someone else. You're going to end up submitting to the government, which most people do. This is why we are so easily convinced by this, because people like the strong men that you are criticizing for believing this, if they don't have a strong sense of, of belief, yeah. they're going to submit to something and that most of the time ends up being the government. They're the ones in charge. And that's mm -hmm. how you get injected. That's how you, you take something. You don't even know what it is. That's how you listen to everybody. That's how you are controlled constantly by fear. If you are not controlled by something greater than you, something like something like God, something else is going to substitute that. So even if you if you have a hard time believing it, if you think it's a book that's that's written by a man, whatever, it's a choice to make. Would you rather submit to the creator or would you rather submit to the government? Mm -hmm. And I, I would choose the the creator. When you talk about you know the darkness that's coming out in terms of policies, in terms of the agenda, the good versus evil, I'm seeing a lot of that manifest on TikTok. I mean, TikTok is a deeply, deeply, deeply dark space, and you see this social contagion where you have a lot of young people who are very lost. Maybe they're not religious. They're not finding that stability in God. Instead, what they're looking and saying, well, I'm lost, I'm upset, I'm hurting. I'm a girl, maybe I'm a boy. Oh, this person said that the answer to this is to mutilate myself. So now that, that oh, let me do that and then I'll feel better about myself. What do you think about that? Yeah, What's going that, on with young people? That's submission to the woke agenda. They're confused, they're depressed, they're on their phone all day, they're just looking at celebrities, looking mm -hmm. at dancing, they look at people more successful who are better looking than them, they get upset, they don't know where to go to, and so then they offer this thing, uh, some dude will go on a screen, like a trans guy with a beard and makeup, hey kids, Mm -hmm. Cut off your parents. Join my Patreon. And then they watch this guy. Okay. And he's giving them comfort. He's making them feel right. good. This he, she, whatever is like luring them in. And now I saw some statistics saying that like 20% of Gen Z doesn't even identify as straight anymore. Like 3% mm -hmm. of American high school girls say that they are trans. This is not normal at all. And it has nothing to do with homophobia, transphobia. There's no way that that's possible that this amount of people are queer or different or are not mm -hmm. even the correct gender that they were born as mm -hmm. so that that's become the new religion yeah wokeism feminism this whole thing has become people's worldview their ideology and it's it's pretty much consumed them when you go to a pro if you see the protests like like the climate change protests black yeah. Lives matter or these trans protests these people are like dressed up like dogs and like crawling on the floor and they're barking and screaming like they don't even want to engage in a conversation they just start screaming mm -hmm. and if you start to question them they, they just get upset you can ask them like uh what do you think about trump or biden trump trump's racist okay how is he racist I'm not having this conversation. They just walk <laughs> right. up, and they're so there's mad no answer. because they're consumed mm -hmm. by this ideology. And the my whole purpose of my stream is, is to tell these people that that woke ideology was not given to you because they care about you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't designed to be inclusive, to be more accepting. It wasn't designed out of love. It was designed out of hate to keep you controlled, to keep you constantly depressed, to keep you poor, to keep you childless, and to keep you as a slave. Mm -hmm. It was not meant, like they, they'll they use love as, as like, oh, love wins. They'll use love as a lie because they think that they're doing the right thing. Like, look how inclusive we are. It's not about inclusivity. Actually, those are the most, they always talk about fascism. They're some of the most fascist people. Oh yeah. They Good don't time. want free speech. 
They genuinely want you to be censored. They celebrate. AOC says mis uh, misinformation should be banned. I'm glad that Tucker got banned because hate speech is bad. Mm -hmm. They do not want to engage in conversation, which is more fascist than anything that they That's right. They call fascist. That's right. I mean, wokeism is a religion into onto itself. I mean, liberalism, the, these people just bow down to, to the woke because they don't. They're, they're missing direction, right? And there are a lot of people in this country who are more than happy to have government tell them what to do. They don't want that autonomy. They, it's, it's, it's hard harder to run your own life. You know, you, you are then responsible for your own actions, for your own decisions, for your own consequences. That's a more difficult path than it is to just lean on mommy and daddy government and say they're going to take care of it. They're going to take care of me. They know best. Oh, I'll trust Big Pharma, you know, stick whatever in my arm. I'm fine. Um, so there's an increasing number of people that just I don't know what's happening in terms of the breakdown of the family, really, in terms of the role there. But it could be. It could be that, you know, the breakdown of the family is playing a, a key role in that as well, because they're missing that hardcore parental unit and they're going out into the world feeling lost and afraid. If you like the short clip and want to watch the full episode, click here. And if you want to connect with me one-on-one -on, -one on Manect, you're going to click right here. Let's get to talking.